everyone and welcome back to another video, I hope you're well. So you join me back down at the Stilly Ranger Tree where we've been here for quite a while. Um, um, it's very nice getting back out and what we're doing today is we're doing a bit of uh, black and white infrared photography. Now this was my plan of doing it, I wanted to do maybe a couple of days of this and um, I was waiting for the idealistic conditions. I don't want any clouds and as we have today, not a single cloud sky which is absolutely superb because it means we're going to get the most out of this um this camera anyway i better stop talking because uh we're going to be going through the national park we're going to be going on the outside finding some interesting subjects i'm at my next spot now i've uh, pulled over on the side of the road i was going to leave my camera with the car but i don't trust people so um yeah i've uh, crossed the road and i'm going to take a photo of the mountains in front there's actually a tractor going through the scene here and this is actually where i want to do a pano so um yeah it's absolutely magical the last time i came here the field was brown but now we've got the new growth coming through and it just looks awesome and it's going to look amazing when we take this photo so i don't want to hang around here for too long but there's so many photographic opportunities here um yeah let's get stuck into this and then move on to the next spot because i've got a couple of places in mind for this one so many beautiful scenes around here. Oh, I need to get the end shot, so I know where the sequence ends. But boy, this is magical. I'm really looking forward to editing these photos. So yeah, handheld shot, pano, um, shooting a little bit wider than I need to, so I can crop in and make sure I've got the settings. So yeah, 200 ISO, um, 200 of a second f8, and our focal length, if I can find out what it was, 200 mil. So yeah, nice and tight. I'm just going to get a few more shots from here and then we'll move on. When I was also pulling onto the side of the road here, I uh, wanted to get off the road as far as possible, but um, turned out you might be able to see the tracks in the, in the background there. My car started to slide down the road. So I um, gave it a little bit of throttle and was able to come back up. <laughs> It'd be uh, pretty embarrassing just getting stuck there. Sometimes the side of the roads can be a bit soft. Um, sometimes it can be a bit hard, it's a bit unpredictable, but yeah, turned out this was a little bit soft. Thank God my car is all-wheel drive so yeah anyway let's move on to the next spot in the foreground and the leading lines as well the, the cut crops so. Um, I was planning on taking a few photos from different areas of the park um, but given we've got about just over two hours of sunlight left I don't think we're gonna have time um, yeah I'll see how I go 
because during the stages of me taking the photos, setting up the camera here, um, getting the B-roll and everything, it definitely adds up. Um, but yeah, and also travel time as well. Going through the park, I think it's going to take over an hour to get through. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Well, this is a little annoying. Um, yeah, battery's gone flat. Well, it was got it went flat before I left this morning or this afternoon. I was going to put it on a trickle charge, but I thought it'd be all right. And uh, yeah, sadly, it's not all right. So it's completely dead. It won't turn over. Um, so what I'm doing is I've got my uh, lithium battery pack with all the, the inverter hooked up to a four amp hour battery charger, which is connected to the battery. And um, yeah, in about five or ten minutes, I should be on my way again. But um, yeah, a little annoying. Um, maybe want to go down to Albany um, later this week or later on next week. I'll uh, pop in and get a new car battery, perhaps. Um, yeah, this is a little annoying. But yeah, uh, I think this is a result of when my alternator died and um, I had to fit a new one. And I think it probably damaged the battery, so it should have lasted a lot longer, this battery. And it's a good battery, it's made by Century, I think it is. Um, it's a 104 amp hour battery, um, but yeah, so inverter hooked up to the charger, putting a bit of charge in, and uh, yeah, I think probably what I'm going to do, uh, since we're limited on time, and that sun is setting quickly, I've got an hour and a half of light left looking at my hands, if you were interested in what I was just doing there, so what I've done is uh, my little pinky lines up with the horizon and then spread my hands away as a apart, but I look along my pinky, line up with the horizon, and then each one of my fingers is an hour. So, yeah. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Nothing is ever simple. But luckily, I bought my power pack with me. Um, you know, because I was thinking this probably will happen again. And I've got enough power to get me out of trouble for this whole thing. So, yeah. Excuse the uh, bad stabilisation. Hopefully the focus is working. Using IS and autofocus on the camera which isn't the best when you're shooting in 4K on the M50. Anyway, I made it to the, um, the, we I made it to the Western Lookout, and um, when I came here, oh, probably about five or six years ago, I can't remember exactly, I think it was about six years ago, I came in with a friend, uh, Cameron, and um, you were able to easily look over the mountain ranges from this spot. But now, I'm going to have to put down my tailgate here, and stand on that, and tuck this down. By the way, the uh, car is running just to get more juice into that battery. There's a couple of subjects um, in mind that I've got. One, I've loved this peak since I've been here, uh, or since I've been coming here. But I've never been, I've never been able to photograph it. But I think this is when we'll be able to do it because we've got our magic tool. We've got our infrared. Now I think I will put a polarizing filter on and just see if that actually darkens the sky and adds us a bit more contrast there. Now we do have the lovely peaks right off in the distance. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can turn down the exposure a little bit. You can see the uh, peaks right over there. Yeah, so we're gonna photograph that. So that, so this and that, and then we're gonna drive through the ranges a little bit more as well. Um, it's gonna take a while. Uh, anyway, I better get out, get my camera, set, set you up on a tripod and uh yeah and put my polarizer on and take some photos i'm looking forward to this and and i hopefully i don't fall off of my tailgate ah oh, this is going to be a thing isn't it um yeah i haven't fallen down a mountain yet but i seem to be falling over little things but yeah paint wise my paint has gone away a little bit which is nice so i might be able to climb a mountain very soon at least i'm going to have a go at it anyway Hopefully we don't fall, as I keep saying. Hopefully if I say it enough, I won't fall. Anyway, jump over there. Got on my uh, step, I think they're step up rings or, yeah. Um, if you get the other one, it doesn't work the same way. Uh, so, got the polarizer here. Going to screw that on now. This is actually a polarizer one of my friends and Nev gave to me when it was my birthday and uh, I don't normally like screw on filters because they tend to bind a little bit but um, yeah this should do nicely so hopefully it makes the sky dark it gives us more contrast and it shows more of those whites as well 
because with the added contrast, the whites are going to pop even more. I keep saying we're going to take photos, and all I seem to be doing at this moment in time is talking. That is definitely not productive. Taking photos is productive. But mind you, both is. But you've got to find that equal balance. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so excited. Oh, it's lovely, you know. Last week I wasn't able to walk, and now look at me. Um, oh, it's so nice. Still in pain, but I'm not in as much pain as I was before. Anyway, let me jump up here and get these photos. Put that so I can actually get up. Does my bum look good in this? No. No, no one says my bum looks good in this. I'll get a photo of this up here first. Then I'll get to a photo towards the ranges. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a pano. But boy, these trees have got so much taller. They're probably two or three times the height they used to be. Yeah. Oh, my God. I should have put the polarizer on earlier. It's made the sky jet black. Shooting directly opposite the sun, um, so when you've got lovely blue skies above, um, the polarizer works a treat. But when looking over that way, where the skies aren't as blue, the polarizing filter doesn't work as well. Um, yeah. Oh, but Leah, great views. Anyway, time to move on.
All right, so we're at our last spot, and this is gonna be the last photo of the video. Now, I've just taken two separate panos. Now, I took one from just in front of the car, and I took one from the back of the car, as you've seen. And I'll chuck up both on the screen. You've probably seen them already. Um, just the difference in elevation. Um, yeah, we've got all these trees and bushes in the foreground, and they've been entering my frame, but as soon as I come just back and up a little bit higher, probably up about a metre, it really makes all the difference. So yeah, and we've got the last of this available light, which is just lovely, a lot of nice contrast. I took, I've taken the um, polarizing filter off because it's uh, getting quite dark. I had to bump up my ISO to 500 on the tiny little uh, micro four foot, um, not micro four foot, APS-C sensor, uh, 1160 foot per second, uh, F8. Um, but yeah, simply beautiful, and I was uh, doing like a half a lap overlap, um, or one third overlap, so just making sure if there's any bit of movement, I've got those other images that might work, um, so yeah, especially when you're doing handheld stuff and quick stuff, um, yeah, but I'm fine, I've got normally a pretty steady hand, it's been great getting out, I've really enjoyed it today, and I'm not just saying that, I'm... Oh, the, since the fall, I haven't been able to get out as much as I wanted to, but I have a sneaking suspicion that I might be able to climb Bluff Knoll, and I might have a go tomorrow. Now, we've got some lovely conditions, uh, clear blue skies, I think, we've got maybe some light cloud, so that's always potential for some photography. I don't know if I'll be able to climb all the way up to Bluff Knoll. Um, hang on, I'll just adjust the exposure, it's a bit dark. Um... Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to climb all the way, but I definitely want to see what my abilities are right now. Anyway, I'm probably going to head, head off now um, and end this video because it's getting cold. And I don't want to be driving along these roads at night um, because of the ruse and the emus and everything. And um, I want to make it back for the campfire, which, um, what's the time now? I'll just take a photo and see what time it is. Five o'clock, so they've already lit the campfire, so by the time I get back there and have a bit of dinner... Oh, it's freezing. Anyway, um, I'm going to end the video, so I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button, it helps out the channel. If you'd like to sh see more videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for an instant notification as soon as I release a new video. Um, if you've got any questions, you'd like to say anything, pop it down in the comments section and I will get back to you as soon as I can, basically. Um, Anyway, I'm Simon, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Okay, bye for now.